You seem to have located the Orc Fortress capital. Uh, your other intel sources point that the forward camp to you guys' immediate right is anti uh, anti air battery system. Fortress has no anti air. Uh, and the Orc Space Fortress is surprisingly not as if many of you guys would have thought initially. But there is supplies moving to and fro from your guys' uh, last intel. And if I recall, you guys went back, or you guys are at your guys' little installation setting up fortifications and sending these drones out, if I recollect. Yep. And, um, the, the dreadnought's getting repaired. Yes. And then you guys also saw the formation of orc tanks, hundreds of them, uh, from the fortress heading into the capital. An entire division of orc tanks. <laughs> well, Terrifying. One thing for sure. One thing that one plan we did do is uh, to plant some landmines in the on the roads and delay that division. Yeah, we can do that. We do have landmines. They've already since crossed the bridge. Ah. They've already crossed the bridge, so. You guys gonna try to get ahead of the call because they're booking it. No, that's a terrible idea. We are over here. They are over here. Right, and they're booking it. I was hoping to get a uh, aerial mine laying, but that's definitely not possible. Oh, because of the uh, encampment. Not only the anti airs but also uh, the incompetency of our troops. <laughs> yeah, but was that really a surprise? No. These <laughs> 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 uh, are the guardsmen we're dealing with. So what are you guys' first plan of attack? Um, I believe we were going to use the whirlwinds to assault the uh, the fortress capital. Not to be confused with defurptress. <laughs> and you guys do know, you guys if you recall that there was power lines coming off of the fortress so it is a hydro dam did we did we scout the uh hydro dam and see if it had any uh anti air defenses or is that there is the currently camp? there's currently no anti air at the fortress uh but they're setting it up as we speak ah okay Um, do we have any guys, sort of close air support? Just those dropships you guys have. Do they have guns arm. on them? Negative. Okay. They maximized their payload, so they ditched all weapons. Yeah, okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. Um... We could try to. Oh, excuse me. God damn. We could try to um, assault the Furptress directly uh, and sabotage whatever power lines they have. And then once that happens, that should take out some of their anti air defense. Um, and then we can probably uh, unleash the full volley of whirlwind missiles into the fortress capital. I would say we should attack the power lines, not the fortress itself. Oh well, the the power lines coming out of the fortress. Yeah. yeah. Do keep in mind, these are orcs we're talking about here. All it takes is one guy saying, the power's not out, and slapping somebody over the head for them. <laughs> Still have power. Yeah, true. 
but uh, I, we, within, within it's not it's not quite as simple as that. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> within reason. It's like <laughs> I try to do comic relief style of that, not like cheese everything. The goal to attack the Furptress is to get rid of the power. I want it to destroy their dam entirely, but I don't think it's going to flood the capital. It might flood no. the spaceport. No, it won't flood uh, anything. Spaceport's on the opposite end of that peninsula. Because if you look at the dam, it's... <sighs> God damn it. Uh, it's downstream. I remember right, this entire thing here is cliffs. Yep. Yep. This also looks like it could be a cliff. I mean, the dam is the dam is downstream from the uh, yeah. delta. So the question at most, is, they might get a big wave over here, and that's about it. So, well, I'm just saying that it could get into here and then gets bounced. The wave may may bounce and get the York space port, but. That's far fetched. I think the closest thing we would have to that. Holy crap, I cannot stop yawning. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, well, Hold the, up. the question is which, which direction is the water flowing? Is it going into the delta or out of it? Like in the north? Uh, one second. Well, this is the larger body of water. Yeah. So, out. All right. Well, per, uh, 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 Tess might have a point. That is an assumption. Well, that this larger at... that this larger body of water. Okay. We're, we're, I, just, we're... I just told you. I just told Count, you. Counterpoint. Why would you put a dam here, and how would there be so little water here if there's more water over here? Water's going that way. All right, fair point. So if it's flowing out that way, um, realistically, looking at that smaller body of water south of the dam, I don't think it would do any significant damage if we uh, destroyed the dam. No. Again, it would probably just give the orcs some nice surfing. <laughs> Might be a distraction for a little bit, but... <laughs> would, it be, would it be big enough... Actually, it might be a big, big enough distraction to lure their army in. Mm, I don't know about the whole army. I mean, maybe... Maybe a division of tanks? Half a division? Yeah, like a company of tanks. And just so you guys are aware, uh, there was roaming tanks in the fields. Just all Last over? I remember they were going that way, though. Yeah, yeah, there was a couple this way. And they were lighting the forest on fire as they went. Yes. <laughs> Alright. So, this is your guys' intel of where they moved. That's your last, that uh, third one is the last known intel where you guys could see them. Got it. And for, uh, what's the word? Consistency's sake, I will make a little box on the GM side and move it around as needed. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, perhaps we can get one of those transports that we've already emptied out. Because I think we... Did we drop the whirlwind somewhere? They're, They're with us. They're with you guys. Yeah. So we can get in the empty. And then um, fly that around the air defenses of the camp. And I'll represent you guys with the blue square. Boop. Yeah. 
So we fly around the air defenses of the camp and uh, assault the dam directly and sabotage it on foot. That's what I think we should do. Um, because then we're reserving the heavy artillery for the assault on the fortress capital itself, which is our target. Any objections? Or there's yeah. a World War missile in a scout drone. Locate and destroy one power line relay. Yeah, assuming there's no redundancies. I don't think those drones can carry a missile. Oh, the no, World War the... No, the scout will be the visual aid to figure out where the, the gotcha. uh, electricity poles are coming are going. And then you use a whirlwind missile from the tank, fire it off. <laughs> Where's check done. minus 50? All right. Mm -hmm. Again? Mm -hmm. Where has a beautiful singing voice? Loves the thing, huh? Yeah, it's Coco. Keep hey. mind, you have a plus twenty. Oh, well, I Still wouldn't have failed. failed, or I wouldn't have passed anyway. Ha! Huh. That's what you hear, Moth. <laughs> Now, can we make out if that's the report of artillery or if it's the impact of artillery? Impact. Moth here is impact way the distance. All right. Then I let everybody know. It I appears it they are firing artillery. Yeah, it sounds extremely faint and pretty far off. So, but you do definitely hear a lot of artillery going off. So, be the just general direction. Way down over there. Mm -hmm. That's southeast. Well, it's still east. This is oh, where you guys are at. Right. This is where you guys are at. That blue square is where you're at. And it's over this direction. East of your position. 100 kilometers away. Good ears. <laughs> What's with that blue circle? I put that. Well, I thought that's the, the one down over here that you were just talking about. No. Here, I'll, 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 this I'll, one over here? It's over this direction. Here, I'll focus ping. This other one down here? Here, I'll focus ping. You hear in that direction. This general direction. Where? I didn't get focus Where? pinged. There was no focus. Focus ping? Nope. No. It didn't oh. happen. Let's say do tokens, focus ping. Oh. Oh, let me refresh. Because the artillery was over here. They hear the explosion in that direction. Okay. okay. That's where we landed. Yeah. No, we... those poor scrubs. Yeah, I was gonna say, did we have any friendlies over there? No. We did. Did we? Yeah. Yeah. This green. It was an Imperial uh, Guardsman Regiment. Or what was left of them. Damn. We took their bikes. <laughs> <laughs> we really walked in and took their bikes. Marines stole my bike. <laughs> well, they, they can't oh. use it. It's built for a space marine. That's so a little on the bigger side. Now, oh, true. Well, God rest their souls. Sorry, Emperor God, Master Souls. Who the fuck? <laughs> Emperor. Yeah. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> hey, I wasn't the one saying blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne a couple sessions ago. May the Emperor and his four arms protect us. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
So I'm I'm moving the forces as it was gonna take you what was it two three days? Let me go scroll up. I think we did a roll for that. Did we now? I think we did. Yeah, give me a second. It was two days. Yep, one d three. So it was two days. <laughs> so we move the forces. That's, this is day one, our moth year artillery fire, and you just hear an intensity of artillery fire throughout the day. So, thought, what if we take the whirlwind batteries around this way, park them around over here, have them run around, shooting the port and the fortress at the same time? Uh, counterpoint. Um, if we fire the whirlwinds from that position then they're not going to have an easy escape route because they'll be cut off between the spaceport, the Furptress, and then that road going between them. So I'm thinking... Hell, they could be on the road firing and then just leave that way. I oh, mean... I remember the circle was. This is, this is a... Um... Okay, let me go write it down. Oop. Although I guess it depends on if this is all mountains over here. Maybe. It's not exactly clear. I think, I think like, this darker area here is mountains. Yeah, so that could be just be, like, sandy desert? So, they have a 30-kilometer range, so I was... Plains, yeah, you like know. a plateau or something. I was... I was thinking we'd put the whirlwinds up here, and then the capital will be in range, and... Um, it'll be much easier to safely disengage if we get spotted. If the only problem is the anti-air from the orc camp. Yeah, and but if... The fortress itself. Well, yeah, but... For bringing, up, bringing down the power line, that might reduce the air defense. I honestly think that it will be a better plan to sabotage the entire generator and not just the power line because the power line can be very quickly repaired. Whereas the generator... Yeah, we're not going to be time. here that long. We're not going to be here that long. Well, if Southern California Edison is to prove 10 minutes and it's done. <laughs> I mean, I agree that we should take out a uh, one of the generators instead of just the power line because... Well, the generator, well, they can't really fix that too easily, but a line can be easily fixed. And it will take us quite a lot of time to get to the fortress capital after the Furptress. Yeah, I guess. Uh, okay. Because here, here's my thoughts. Um, we're going to be doing a ground assault on the Furptress, take out the uh, generator... And then that should knock out most of the AA. And then we can position the whirlwinds and have them fire on the fortress capital to soften it up before we uh, either fly in or um, march our way in. So. We can fly. <clears throat> we can use the transport to move the uh, ground forces to the Ferb Trace. Not next necessarily to the capital. Yeah, true. I mean, there is a road uh, connecting those, so... Also, don't forget that spaceport is sending supplies to the uh, Dreadnought in orbit, or whatever okay. the hell it's called. When you guys ready, I'll proceed day two. With war Not ready. Move. Okay, so day one is proceeded. I moved all, all the orc forces around. Right, so... The spaceport sending supplies up to the ship in orbit, the derelict in orbit, and they are trying to repair it. We got to keep that in mind. Did you guys scouting the whole time? No, we're still discussing yeah. tactics. I think. No, no, no. I'm asking: Are you scouting for enemy forces and movements on, on the first day? Oh well, we're we're gonna be like yeah, rotating have people lookouts. Doing we're gonna have like a lookout shift rotating. I'll how, I mean, how far are you scouting? You're scouting the entire continent? You're, you're scouting your immediate area? I'd imagine just the immediate areas. Yeah. Unless your drones can go slightly further afield. Okay.
Because so, okay. you know, I yeah, I just put down squares just like like you guys, but on the GM level. So there is <laughs> big enemy formations on the field somewhere. Just be aware when you guys move. All right. Which means before we go to the Furpress, we should probably scout along the whatever path we're going to take to get there first. Just in case. So I really think we should take out that spaceport first. Before the next day progresses. Well, if we take the Furptress out, then that should also hinder the uh, spaceport as well. Spaceships have their own power. Yeah, but the spaceport itself, sending up material or ammunition or whatever, it's going to have a harder time with less power or no power. Counterpoint, if we kill the ships that are leaving, then it's pointless to have a spaceport. Yeah, I mean, do we have anything that can kill a giant ship? We have two artillery tanks, and they have very little protection. The whirlwinds. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, we could have one whirlwind fire at the spaceport, and the other one fire at the Furptress. That'll solve both those problems, since the whirlwinds probably aren't really going to get through the anti-air defenses anyway. Well, if we're talking From about... what we saw of the drone swarm. If we're talking about a dam... Uh, like a hydroelectric dam, the generator is probably going to be under like a mile of concrete. So, uh, your guys' the intel report they retrofitted a a like react nuclear imperial reactor and slapped it on top of. Oh, yeah, it looks really shitty. <laughs> <It's very laughs> so here's here's the, thing with the dam test. Yeah, you don't attack top down. You attack side in. They don't. There's not a mile of concrete into the side. Yeah, true. Well, if there's a fucking nuclear thing on top, then, yeah. That's... That might yeah, also that... solve the, the, the <laughs> side camp, too. Yeah. They also have windmills and all sorts of things, so... You windmills? Know. Yeah, windmills. Windmills? So I said windmills. <laughs> you said windmills. Oh, boy. That, that exciting, exotic wind power... <laughs> but yes, it, it's All definitely... you do is get a bird to crap on it. Problem solved. Yeah, don't yeah. Uh, don't fart too strongly, or uh, it might give him more power. Uh, yeah. The so the only concern that I have from a strategic standpoint is our limited ammunition, and I'm thinking we want to concentrate our volume of fire on the fortress capital itself. That way. If some missiles get shot down by whatever air defenses are still remaining... And chickens. And chickens. Yeah. Uh, then, uh... That one guy at the chicken launcher, yes. At the Orc spaceport. <laughs> hey, man, people are going to see that chicken launcher still operating. They'll be like, shit, we need chickens too. And they'll start grabbing the chickens and launching them. And then there goes the taking out the power issue. <laughs> And then uh, one of the orcs will try to cook the chicken into a meal and say, Damn, these McGriddles are pretty dry. No, then he'd explode when he eats it. Oh, yeah. Because obviously true. chickens are explosive. <laughs> explosive chicken. Um, Alright. So, I still think ground attack on Defurptress, uh, and then reposition the whirlwinds to about here and then full volume of fire on the fortress capital we back welcome back what do you guys think well so far I think we've got two plans uh huh like two people that haven't weighed in on their 
willingness oh. to participate in either of them. I, I... Well, I like the idea of hitting the fortress, taking out whatever kind of power that it supplies. Okay. Uh, that and flooding the lowlands, if it blows up, is, you know, and at least get rid of some forces and be a nice distraction. Um, what does Thunk think, though? That's the question. I don't know. Where is Thunk? Uh, last I knew, I think was out in the wilds hunting down the uh, Imperial, uh, the traitor Imperial person. We found one. Oh, I found one. Yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> no, fuck, no, I'm just pissing. No. Hey. It's a Gretchen. <laughs> a Gretchen with a uh, Imperial helmet. Let's put that was that was the Imperial spy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What do you well think? The disguise. Just so you think, but yes. Uh, right, well, I've eliminated Gretchen. said Gretchen. <laughs> yes. Taken its head with the helmet. <clears throat> Thunk found Imperial spy. Half head. What's that Imperial spy? You say that the fortress is power units. <laughs> power very critical things in the capital? Oh. Don't think we should take out the fortress. What else, Imperial Spy? Oh, you say Thunk prettiest man alive? Well, you're wrong. Thunk Ogre. <laughs> and then smash his head into the, into the ground, smashing his face. <laughs> Due to intelligence gathered in the field, Thunk think we should strike the fortress and then the capital. I concur with this assessment. By the way, you did get the information out of that, Gretchen. So, so you weren't lying. <laughs> <laughs> he told you everything. You GM rolled, didn't you? <laughs> Of course he did. Uh, yeah. Let me GM roll. Yeah, let me GM roll something else for for you. Da -da -da. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, I'll I'll show you where one division is because he told you where he came from. Boop. See the square. Yeah. Yeah. That's where he came from. Got Boop. it. Big tank column. Do we know uh, approximately how many? I didn't give a number. I just said big tank column. That's way told Got Thunk. It. I let the Thunk relay to you. Big orc tank group. Warband. Smash high. Uh, Lots of tanks. More than one. Yes. Maybe even more than two. Yep. They're going to go smash the hive city. All right. So, I think that plan is we have, have a uh, what was it? Have a transport, uh, transport small elite troops to the fortress, and everything else goes towards the capital. <clears throat> Sounds like that's the last plan we have. So my plan's not good then. I didn't hear your plan. All right, we send the whirlwinds over here. And we have one fire at the Furptress and one take out the spaceport. Then they both hightail it the fuck away. Gotcha. And we do that now. What's the travel time? Probably a while. Uh, well, you have air transport. It wouldn't take you that long. Ooh. So that's maybe, maybe fifteen minutes. That would be. Yeah. That that would be uh, we'll call that Plan B then, and Plan A is uh, uh. But we can't have two plans. We don't have resources. They are mutually exclusive plans. We go with one or the other. But yeah. I do like having both Thunderbirds work together, drop at drop off the room and fire, and then retreat. That's a thirty-minute plan. <clears throat> two Thunderbirds. 
do keep in mind the whirlwinds are mobile artillery. They can just leave on their own. And you have the tra air transports too as well. Uh, the air transports is going to be really good traveling that much distance. Hmm. No, I mean, you're, uh, the drops brought them in. They can transform anywhere you need to. So they don't need to drive everywhere. And the second Thunderbird could drop off at the Furptress, probably on the eastern side. Because everyone saw, I have a feeling everyone saw the scout drones, so probably everyone wants to focus on the. If they're yeah. smart, they're probably going to more uh, be focused on the western and southwest uh, uh, side. Are you just calling orcs smart? I still think they're smart. Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I I stand by uh saying that we should probably reserve all of our whirlwind artillery for the fortress capital. Cuz volume of fire wins. Especially with a huge fortified that, area like that. But but 8 out of 10 drones got shot down immediately. Yeah. But if we take the Furptress out... And that was before they got to the inner part of the capital. Yes. But if we take the Furptress out, then they're going to have less anti-air to shoot the missiles. You assume. Down. That's an assumption. It is an assumption, yes. However, if we use the Whirlwind to take out the Furptress, we know the Furptress is down, and the spaceport goes down too. Missiles are also they're, they're harder to shoot down than drones. I'll throw that out there as well. Sure, but if we take right, out the power it brings, and ground assault the capital. It brings the, the chance down to maybe 30%. Well, my idea is that we ground assault the capital after we've softened them up with whirlwinds. Do you want to ground ground assault the Furptress, then the capital? Yes. How are you going to get from the Furptress to the capital? Um... Walking through the other camp. I mean, There's we could three really targets. We could There's always fly our way in. We can fly our way to the edge of the uh, anti-aircraft defenses, land, and then go the rest of the way on foot. Okay, that's my idea. Anyway, I like my idea better than your idea. <laughs> Yeah, I could tell. I do <laughs> like Moth's idea. Because we can only we can send a few missiles this way. And we need to take out the spaceport. They are sending supplies to orbit. Or from orbit? To orbit. The the derelict ship? They're sending supplies to the derelict ship in case you guys forgot. Hmm. Oh, apparently we're doing an awareness check. Yep. This is for the second half, or the second half of the first day. Because you guys notice the artillery strike, striking towards midday. This is getting towards towards the night. And you guys are oh, uh, somebody got a crit success. So you you are aware. You hear humming and buzzing, and it's in the sky. And you see a formation of like uh, looks like World War Two bombers, orc bombers. Where are they headed? <laughs> Let me draw them. I'll do. <clears throat> I didn't realize they have their own flying fortresses. They they do. So, right. Wait. Wait, this is actually a thing? <laughs> yeah, well, where are they headed? Do we have a bearing? Yeah. Alright. See it? Yeah. Now, are we within spotting distance if they fly over You're, that path? We have two dreadnoughts. Yeah, true. Unless somebody's got an extra big leafy tarp. 
No, but Thunk can make one. <laughs> I gather three leaves and throw it on top of the bikes. Oh, we don't have the bikes. I gather three leaves and wear them as a hat. <laughs> oh, you want Thunk to make some for you as well. Okay. Uh, I grab another handful of leaves and shove them into your hands. There you Thank go. You, thunk. Here you go. And you. Thank you, Thunk. And you. Uh, I just kind of rub some leaves against the uh, the sides of the dreadnoughts to get some green on them. There. Camouflage you did. <laughs> yeah, one of the, one of the pilots approach, approaches you, dude. Uh, Sire, we're we're getting uh, radar signatures of a giant formation of uh, seem to be aircraft of some kind. Why is Timmy speaking to us? <laughs> this is one of the one of the pilots. One of yeah, the... but why are you voicing him like Timmy? Why not? Okay. More sophis sophisticated, uh, Murray. Am I am I missing something? Because I don't know who Timmy is. It's from South Park. Oh, <laughs> Timmy. Timmy! Oh, Timmy! Yeah. Why not? Sire, this seems to be a giant formation. <laughs> so that no, it's the guy in the, the guy in the crutches. Yeah, I know who it's Timmy is. No, 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 Timmy's in the wheelchair. Oh yeah, He's that's the guy right. In the crutches. Uh, Jimmy. Jimmy. Is it Jimmy? Jimmy and Timmy? Yep. yep. Alright, sounds like Jimmy. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jimmy. I have diabetes. <laughs> Sire, there seems to be a giant formation of uh, aircraft in the sky. Is it heading directly towards us? And they kind of uh, point the giant air aircraft the in, the, in the sky. <laughs> I imagine it's these. S Sire, they'd, they'd be heading this direction and he shows you the direction they're heading in boop, boop, boop. see it oh yeah i thought that was this mm -hmm. you guys see that but he's talking about something else oh all right oh. so it's directly towards us i I have a proposal. Um, Moth, I think you and I should do an opposed willpower check to see which plan we end up doing. What do you think? I think we should Not solve opposed. the immediate problem before we discuss a plan. Yeah, but we were spending all that time discussing yes, yes, we're, anyway. we're, we're, got, we're about to be bombed. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about, man? That shit can wait. All right. Don't think we should move. Yeah. Now. Yeah, let's move. Or since it was, since it was, uh, you know, idiot guardsmen that told us about the second group, maybe we should see what these are. Can we get eyes on that? And have your drones. We only have like ten left or something. Yeah, you want to. Talk we had twenty in reserve. Oh. Okay. Might be able to spare a few more. Yeah, send five over. Alright. Let's do it. Yeah, so the drones locate them. They are <clears throat> of Imperial design. And they're aircrafts. Very primitive aircrafts. Uh, but they're aircraft. They seem to be various fighters and other other things. Other assortments of aircraft. Are they Orky or Human? Uh, your drones see human pilots in them. And the Imperial Signia. Oh. They're going to try to intercept the bomber, sounds like. Yeah, it could be. Well, they weren't bombers, so that's... They are fighter craft, these guys. No, 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 that's the... Fine. Yes, I know, the fighter craft... I'm saying the fighter craft coming our way are Imperials, and they're fighters, they're not bombers. Got like it. We're told. Got it. All right. So, Idiot Guardsman strikes again. Then I still think we should move. Probably, yeah. Uh, maybe this way. Yeah, okay. I agree. We don't want to be below some big fur ball up there. So you're going to move your whole formation how far? Alright, we, we, we don't have time to move. We'll probably want to just head towards the fortress. 
or the capital, I mean the capital, and have a strike group, uh, Furptress, and maybe uh, to some Bob are going this way, and the the uh, orc armor group is over here too. Well, we so going this can way let them is pass. a bad idea. Well, we can let them pass at least. Or we can what go these to the... guys are doing. These guys are taking out these guys by going over here. They're intercepting. Okay. We don't want to be under falling planes, so we're going this way. Yeah, falling planes loaded with giant bombs. <laughs> Need advisable what to is... be under. Yeah. Yeah, you guys can you guys can easily move because all, all they haven't unloaded any any material. You guys are just setting up defenses, ram check defenses. The dreadnoughts being repaired. One of the transports. I say we. Oh. I don't think we're gonna get hit. We can stay put. Well, unless the bombers. We're also trying to avoid the bombers spotting us, reporting our position, because in case you missed it, over here was an artillery strike, and it's forty k away. We are within that range. And it might be 60k for them. Yeah. Anyway. I think but we should move this way. having to not know where we are is a better thing than being maybe far enough away. Hmm. I say we go northwest of our position. Up here. <laughs> we will have to double back, but... You guys make a vote. <clears throat> I say south or southwest. Okay. Alright, fuck it. South or southwest is fine with me. I have two for that. Any others? Yellow? Hey, oh, but it's my vote. Okay. You guys moving tree line or you guys staying in the open here? Uh, we want tree cover. We don't want to get spotted. It was Yellow's vote. Yeah. Go ahead, Yomug. Yomug said forward. Right. Whatever direction everyone else is facing. <laughs> All right. So Six three guards will start walking forwards in opposite directions. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> so the three transports, they load on any ground person that they had covering the perimeter. You guys load on as well. And then your guys' aircraft take off and they find a suitable landing location in the forest and make the landings. All right. Um, if you guys want to make awareness checks on what yep. is proceeding, you can, because this happens almost immediately after you guys take off behind you. So minus 30. Oh my okay. god. Well, I crit you're, failed. Yeah, your guy's just oblivious. He's looking in his guns. He's not even paying attention. He's oblivious to the world he's, around him. He just gets on. He, he's still work. repairing. He's still yeah. repairing. No, the that's engineer, the, the tech marine that's repairing him is currently on top of his eyeballs. No, no that was for yes, Virlo. This is Virlo. This is his work. This oh. is his actual human player. Virlo's taking a nap. Yeah. He was up uh, all night. So everyone who succeeded, <laughs> you guys, you guys hear giant explosions, and you see explosions behind you guys. And it seems a very epic battle is taking place. Cool. Is Thunk gonna say ooh? Ah. I was gonna, I was. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. Ooh, pretty night lights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so how do you guys want to spend the remainder of your night? Despite being entombed in a dreadnought, a sight like that never gets old. Yep. Yeah. yeah so that's cool. interesting. Apparently, there's a human air base over here. Maybe that's why the orcs set up anti-air. They thought we were part of that group. Yeah, could be. Potentially. All right. We can't. Uh, well, hold up. We have friendly air, air units. Let's find them. Let's find the Imperio Bay Air Base. Using a Thunderhawk, go west, where they came from, and see if we can link up with them. That might be a good opportunity to uh, get more forces to attack the capital. True. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's do it. 
Alright, so you're gonna spend the remainder of the night looking for this, or are you gonna do it in the morning? We, just we have, we have night vision, vision right? For it. Yeah. If we have night vision, get on yeah. the Thunderhawk and do yeah, a recon. You do. Yeah, if and anything, all... we're on, under cover of darkness, which is even better. Oh. Also, mm -hmm. Space Marines have cover of dark, or, uh, night vision as well, so, yep. Yep. So, uh, you should be able to move that square on your own. See if you can. Here's, here's a question. Do the guardsmen we're looking for have night vision, too? Because if they don't, and they hear air coming at them... Let Let's one. leave them be. Let's. We're just going to have a diplomat envoy to find this, or recon, and let everyone else sleep and uh, set up defenses. We don't need to move everyone. We just need to move fast enough to find people. True. So, Boko, on my Dreadnought, um, does my searchlight have infrared capability? Or is it just a searchlight? Just the searchlight. Alright. All right. Turn it red. Now it is infrared. So you guys moving this way? <laughs> this west? Yeah, we're moving well, to wherever those planes were coming from. That's a little too from. west. Uh-uh. Oh, oh. We're not burning everybody, are we? You, it's up to you. What are you, what are you bringing? <clears throat> I'd Thunder. imagine just a couple people in a, one of the transports. So My squad transport. and the Thunderhawk. And that's okay. it. Alright. We'll leave the Dreadnought to repair, we'll leave the other Dreadnought on defense, and we have most of the guard on defense, too. We'll let yeah. them sleep. Alright, you should be able to move that around, so... All right. Oh, if I remember, we were here. Uh, no, you're the blue square. Well, the our previous encampment. Oh, we were yeah. here, I think. Yep. Here. Yeah, we're triangulating here. where that Move squadron up, came up, from, up. and it was kind of like this direction. You guys are right there, where that <laughs> air ballast place. Here. So I would search here. Uh, can't make circles. Yeah, and uh, I think you have a search skill, right? Let me see. Yeah, well, there is, actually. Yeah. Yep, so you can use that. Modifier? Uh, mine is 50. There is a... Oh, there is a search. That's not going to work. Perception, huh? uh, do I have anyone else good with search? Minus what? Minus, minus 50, and then plus whatever bonuses you have to night, night searching. Yeah. Observation Mastery! Shit! Barely lost that one. I'm gonna reroll Fate that. You gonna do Fate Point? Yes. Okay. There we go. So in that little squadron, you don't find anything. You guys search for about an hour. You search the entire circle perimeter. So. All right. Chances are, then they took they a, definitely one of the took a. They were either they group. yeah. This is definitely their turning position to go east. So they probably were from north or south. As they're staging the area, it could be here, then they move here, or they went from the south, then they attacked. Yeah, it's probably south, probably on the other range of these mountains, I would say. Is there any could other... even be down over here, this blue circle. Now, the next question is Is there such thing as an aircraft carrier? Hmm? Yes. Oh. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, there is. All right, let's check the ocean while we're here. Uh, this area right here. Okay. Okay, minus 50 again. I'll still give that a try, but... Do keep in mind, you have a plus 20. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. Virlo so... sees something. Yeah, with Virlo's, ah. Virlo's assistance... You guys do actually locate something. Hold on one second. I wonder if I can make this another level. I'm not going to bother rolling these words and searches because uh, I have a perception of 19, so everything will fail. Yeah, okay. so, if everything's failing for me. I have perception of 68. So I don't have a search scale. 
Yeah, you guys do find an installation of some sort. Is it like a fancy... You want to re roll one more time? Say it again? Do we want to roll one more time? No, I've... We all have succeeded. It. Yeah, so... You... Virlo found an installation oh. just in the distance. So what kind of an installation? Is it like one of those fancy know. ones that's hiding underwater? And then it... You just... No, it's on, on, it's on this island. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, it might be an air base, it might be anti-air. Um, Stand a scout drone? L could be anti-navy. Yeah, because you guys... Can I discern any details at all about it from this distance? Or no? No. Alright. Nope. You get to the center of that circle. We did not bring a scout drone. Or did we? I imagine you would have brought some, dude. We'll send one. Yeah. And see what it looks like. Right. So how far is visual range? Hmm? I think that's in the books. You guys uh, are also in out. the sky, too, so... 13 miles. I look through it through my sniper scope. Well, the horizon dips below, I think, three miles We're off in the, the air. horizon. Yeah, you're also in the air, so you do have good visual distance. That's why you're able, that's why he's able to spot it. So. So can I point my telescopic sight towards it to get a better sure. look? Yeah. You have night vision. Uh, yeah. Okay, you peer through. And I'll you see, you let see... Craven do that as well, since he has a sniper. I'm going to assume as in, uh, NVGs in there. Virgo's also got a sniper rifle, so I imagine yep. he can do it too. True. Uh, sir, uh, we're picking up a secure transmission from the seems to be some sort of airbase. As you guys are pointing your scopes out to look at this installation. What's the communication saying? Huh? It seems to be encrypted, sire. It seems to be I can't touch it. it. Seems to be possibly for someone higher ranked than myself, but we are getting an encryption message from them. Ooh, I'll be right back. There's a dog. Yep. <laughs> this is the decryption code. Doggo. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark. Uh, bork, bork. Well, I'm thinking, <clears throat> once Moth gets back, uh, he has the highest clearance out of any of us because he's with the Inquisition. So, if it's a, um, what's it called? Um... If it's an Imperial encryption, then he should be able to decipher it. Thunk can. Can't you thunk? What do you think Thunk can do? Because I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Saying tech use? Nah. It's decrypting no. a uh, secure signal. Secure channel. From the Imperials. Yeah, that sounds like okay. tech use. <laughs> uh, I do something comical and stupid. Is what's the modifier? I'm just gonna do it first. Mm. I go up to the the minus uh, sixty. I was thinking minus moth. 60? Oh no! It's a no. secure imperial encryption. They do not want. Pilots basically telling you they do not want the signal getting, you know, decrypted. But they are picking it up. Yeah, I'd be rolling like against a negative thirty if I uh, if I tried with like more lore or something like that. So uh, yeah, no, I would not succeed at that. Um, Moth, are you able to pull rank with these guys since you're uh, with the? Yeah, that's what I thought I was gonna do. I was just gonna hold up my imperial symbol and just like throw it at the comms console. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna assess. It's dumb. You're gonna, you're gonna, well, you're gonna assess the, uh, the encryptions then, on the comms. You know, we could always hail them too. It doesn't have to be us decrypting them. Yeah, we're picking them. up a transmission properly to the planes. On top of that, if we send an unencrypted message back, they're gonna treat us as spies and intruders. Unless there's we some kind of. Used. Unless there's some kind of uh, handshake going on. 
like with uh because we're also imperial like they should be able to discern like what signature we have with our uh equipment keep in mind those derpy rocks your characters it's all in the uniform yeah. gretchen yeah true keep in mind that that the orcs can imitate us for like a better word Maybe there's a secret code word that we know that the orcs don't, or something. I could try tech use, but I have to roll a negative 11. Let's wait for... I, I feel like decrypting it is... not the best idea, because the... it'll piss them off. No, it's the only thing we can do in order to communicate with them. Unless we hail them, and then... We could just send an encrypted message towards gonna, the airbase. You're going to use your your encryption moth, your Inquisition yeah. encryptions? Yeah. Wait, have you tried encry uh, decrypting moth? I'm no. not going to be able to decrypt it, no. But we can send an encoded message with Inquisition signatures towards them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That's the best we can do then. Hey! And give me one second. Uh, roll something. Okay. Uh, Sire, or ma'am, or whatever you are. <laughs> Can't really tell. Because uh, he's focused on looking ahead. Especially <laughs> not in this day and age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Sire, uh, we're picking up uh, uh, another one of those encrypted comms. All right. And then he kind of shows you the message, Moth, on the uh, display screen. Can you make it out what this is? Minus 30 this time, Moth. Of tech use? Yeah. Oh boy. Because to you, it, it, it. I assist. Yeah. T t <laughs> it's Dave, does that give anything? Uh, minus T, I have minus 20 now. Let's hope I roll real fucking low. I did. You want to fade point that? I could, yeah. Be buying its ten with the fate point. Mm hmm. Comes a forty percent. God damn it. <laughs> can uh can any of us try decrypting or is it only a moth thing? It is a currently a moth. Everyone else is minus fifty. Or minus I 60. can assist who's ever decrypting. It would be minus. They'd have a minus 10, so minus 50 for them. Alrighty. And then, dude, you can probably get drop it down to minus 40 with yours. I could try off. again. Uh, I'm, I can't do it. I have a lot of fate points. Alright, I'm gonna do Still minus. Still got another three. I'm gonna do the minus 50 roll. So the minus 40 with dude helping. Nope. Did not get it. You had to roll a seven there, dude. <laughs> oh, man. What? You had to roll a seven to succeed that. I know. Right. I'm fate pointing again. Fucking hell. Roll under a 50, me. <laughs> Would you like... Some more fate points? I still got two. I'll use one more. Finally! Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, so you're able to discern, like, you're able to decrypt it as well. Uh, the message is asking for a callback. It's to verify through your Imperials. And your character would know, if you don't call back, more likely 
bad stuff is coming your way. Then yes, I call back. Okay. And he goes, the pilot reports back, Sir, we got another message from that base. And he shows you on the panel. I swear to God, I swear to the Emperor if this thing's encrypted. <laughs> still enc it's still encrypted, uh, but I'll give you another plus, plus ten. So you get a minus... A zero? Uh, Wait, no, it's a minus ten. Minus ten. Also assisting, so it'll be zero. Yep. Wait, no. You assisting made it the minus ten. Yep. So it was mm. minus thirty, then minus, minus ten from you. Yep. Now it's another minus ten because I'm not fate pointing. So it's still just a minus ten. Yeah, send a message back saying stop with this st just stupid encryption. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Alright, now would you like a fake point? Take mine. Sure, I'll take one. Shut up and take my fake points. <laughs> nope, failed again. Right. I am barely trained in tech use. <laughs> yeah, it might be something you wanna. Look I into. did. I did that. <laughs> I trained myself in tech use before we came to this planet. Take, take another fake point. All right, take one of mine. Fuck it. And Confirm the reason being off, it's... Points. Oh, don't forget these fake points are a plus 10. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's why it's a zero now. Oh, okay. Yeah, most of these... There we go. They're, oh, yeah. they're, they're Inquisition-like, but not nowhere near. So they're like a, a strange form of Imperial encryption, like hastily made. So you're unfamiliar with a lot of the terminology. Uh, so Why they... the fuck would you replace A's with fours? Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> These are threes. Why? Oh, it sounds a lot like the elite society. Don't get familiar with. So, Fucking nobles. So, what was your message to them? And what? Cut the emperor damned. The, the, encryption. The, the encryption. Oh, okay. So their res the response is uh, they can't. They're the <laughs> go ahead. They tell you where to land, basically. So oh, they they tell you no and tell you where to land. And then so I'm getting caught in this where to land this aircraft. I'm gonna take us in. Yeah, take us in. I've got a radio operator to shoot. Let's hope to God the uh, GM role is uh, successful with this one. No, you guys, you guys land at the the airfield. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, it's in the mountains. We're not in combat doing combat maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you land at the mountainside. You see what looks like a ramshack base in utter disarray. You see various aircraft being repaired, worked on. You see a very tiresome-looking bunch of guardsmen. And a, uh, you see a, well, they're not Commodore, what, what do they call those guys? Um, commissars. Can, commissar, thank you. I knew they're yeah. like something. You see a commissar barking orders at everyone and whatnot. Uh, he's in a Jeep like vehicle. <clears throat> and then he approaches your guys' uh, dropship and he goes, Greetings, my lords. We've been expecting you. Oh. And he you didn't exactly it. roll out a red carpet with that uh, encryption. <laughs> Is Rookchill talking right? What? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. You didn't exactly roll out a red carpet with that encryption. And it kind of glances to and fro. It's like, I'm sorry, my lords. With everything that's happened, uh, we we cannot be too sure. These orcs, the treacherous bunch. So. Why does he sound exactly like the other idiot guardsman? I'm sorry, I only have one voice. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> so voice acting, I said not. But anyways. Fear not. We have seen some of the trickery that these orcs are capable of. Yes. Yeah, Gretchen in an Imperial Helmet is a spy. 
So what does <laughs> Thunk, Thunk think of this? I see. Thunk, thunk understand. Words hard sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my lord, when we heard of your arrival, we, th we sent forth all our aircraft that we could get to get to Airworthy. Where are they now? It says they're at the front. We had no idea where your location was. So we sent every available aircraft to clear the skies. Uh, Rook and Teal uh, steps forward. Uh, do you perhaps have any ground attack assets at your disposal? The ones that we do are already in the field, and I have not heard from them for quite some time now. Oh, that was that artillery strike then. They're dead. Yeah, uh, almost all. I say we, I say we share all of our intel we've gathered with them so far. Do they have any naval assets? Are you asking him? Yeah. Sorry, my lord. It's just, it's just a small little civilian airfield with a lot of aircraft. All right. Uh, let's share intel. Give him the the lowdown on like all the all the anti air and stuff, and the uh, probably the tank division moving towards the hive world. I don't or not the hive oh. world, the hive city. What do you bet that tank division doesn't have any anti air in it? I mean, if they have any bombers left, they could uh, take out some of that tanks. Well, they just they said could that also take out the fortress. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It, while we prep to immediately assault the capital, they hit it, and then we immediately go in. That way, we no waste time attacking the fortress first, and then making our way to capital. Let's have we a hit at the same time. We ha let's have our scout drone verify the damage of fortress, so we have to make sure that that is destroyed. Again, small problem with your plan here. Our forces are here. They have to go this way to get around this anti-air thing. So they'd have to be around here. Problem. Right here. Thanks. Well, we know that that tank column is advancing away. Or be right here. They're probably in a search pattern doing something stupid like this. Or we can just do something like this. That's directly in the anti-air of this camp that still exists. If we take the Furpress out, then... That camp still exists. Well... Well, we're ground units. Alright. Yes, but you want our artillery to fire this way? Mm. Alright, Two anti-air groups? Here's the biggest problem that we have. We've just asked the Commissar if he has any ground attack assets, and he said no. Right. So yeah, this this he doesn't whole thing have any is a ground wash. forces because they died over here. No, ground attack assets like planes that can bomb ground targets. Oh, you're asking That's him for that? Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, yeah. he didn't. <laughs> Not ground assets. Ground attack assets. Who <laughs> says? Of course I do. He says he has. Ah. Yeah, he's an entire bomber wing, and he's setting up the second wave right now. Let him know where the armored tank column is. Yeah. That's probably the biggest priority is taking those tanks out before they reach the uh, uh, the hive city or whatever. So that would be I'm starting to like I'm starting to like the idea of whirlwind batteries to be where Moth suggested. I'm starting to like that idea. Alright. They can That's hit a lot of stuff from there. They can hit everything that we want it to hit, as well as a good route to retreat. They have their, they can have their own Thunderbirds. We can have the bombers attack the Fertress, since they don't have anti-air, and attack the column. They have spares, or vice versa. Well, ideally, they would only need like two or three bombers to hit the Fertress, and then the rest of them can go for the uh, tank column. So, 
I'm thinking what they would do is... I mean, technically, to take out that dam, all they really need is a barrel and a lot of explosives. <laughs> and a really good pilot. Oh, so we are breaking our hands. He so, has, I'm thinking has, the bombers come out this way. He has 28 aircraft at his as disposal for the next wave. He said they should be ready in about a day or two. And then go around the camp like this. And then some of the bombers split off and hit these, and then the other ones go and hit the fortress. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh, okay. Yep. Uh, so three days, that your aircraft will be ready. And how long do we have to assault the the fortress capital? Unlimited time. There's no time limit. Yeah, months. Oh, okay. Got it. Because yeah, we have many the, days, the only but the uh, more we wait, the more defensible they get. Also, right. I do have to stress this a lot. They have a derelict in orbit they're trying to fix. The sooner we take out that spaceport, the longer we have. Alright, so what I'm hearing is... Um, we we get the whirlwinds to about here, or, or here, whatever. Uh, we take out the spaceport, take out the Furptress... And then we can uh, have the bomber wing go in and level the capital. And then go in uh, on the ground and clean up. Uh, you have 28 bombers. I'm not sure if that would be the, enough to level the city, my, sire, my lord. 28 bombers? That's all I have at my disposal. Um... What is the payload of each bomber? Uh, not much, sire. Uh, the retrofitted civilian aircraft, airframes, all the Imperial weaponry was mostly destroyed in the battles decades prior. Hmm. Uh, They're barely cap combat capable. Yeah, 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 he says, yes, our engineers are very capable, very, very capable. Um... Again, we retrofitted primitive aircraft. We stole okay. a lot of parts and various other other things to th keep us afloat. We can have the bombers attack the Furptress and the tank column in the south. But they, each one, one has about four bombs, by the way. That's right to answer your question. Four bombs? All right. Yep, per one. How big? Are they big... 500 kilograms? Yeah, how big are these bombs? Uh... 250 kilogram bombs. Okay. So, so it's a uh, thousand kilogram payload for each bomber. Um, and there's 28. So it's 28,000 uh, kilograms of explosive. That can wipe out the entire tank column. Um, I don't know if it would have much left over to attack the fortress capital. Um, it probably... Because he has enough bombs for one run, okay. and enough fuel for one run. They said all their supplies have since run dry since the taking of the last remaining hive cities in so, this world. So I suggest, I suggest to let them take out the, the tank column, have us elite unit take care of the furptress, and have everyone else deal with the capital. Yeah, that'll work. And then get the moth moss plan of having the whirlwind to be on the eastern side of the capital to support each attack zone. Yeah, the uh, the big thing we want to do right now is uh, take out that tank column. Uh, Let the bombers deal with that. Yeah. And trust that. They'll let us know if it succeeds or not. So, uh, Rook and Teal, uh, relays the last known position and bearing of the, uh, orc tank column. Yep. Well, it's going to take him three days to get all prepped and ready for the planes to go, so that position will have moved. So, let me guys know when you guys are done. On day one, we'll proceed to day two. I'll move things around. Alright, so, just so everyone's on the same page, the plan is... Uh, we send the bombers out to neutralize the tank column. Then we assault the Furptress on foot. 
Then we position the uh, whirlwinds between the fortress capital and the spaceport, bombard the spaceport, and then uh, take out the uh, use the rest of the munitions to uh, soften up the capital before going in on foot to uh, arrest Grukagorfis himself, the man, the no, myth, the well, legend. You mean yeah. to arrest him? Well, no, arrest him with bullets. <laughs> <laughs> we give him cardiac arrest <laughs> uh, alright so is that good are you guys going to wait the full three days for the air wing to be ready I would assume that I mean probably move into we can attack pretty much three early days. we don't need to attack in three days we can attack until uh, when the dreadnoughts are ready. They'll be ready by tomorrow, and the bombers will be ready two days after that. Mm -hmm. Let them deal with the tank column. We probably want to keep dedicated a scout drone to make sure we know where they are at all times. Not at all times, but enough. <clears throat> An attack now. The tank column will try to head to the north. It'll take them a few days to get to us. kilometers? Nah, it should take like maybe an hour to get to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tanks aren't that slow. Well, that's right. Wouldn't that be heavy terrain where they're at? Mostly open fields with dots of forest that they're piling through and they're burning the forest as they're going along. So they are slowed down in that regard. Mm, that's they why would, they're slow. They wouldn't be that slow. They are slowing down on purpose to burn the forest down. And burning like so. Alright. So, I'm thinking in the meantime, while we wait for the bomber wing to be primed, uh, we can regroup um, and gear up to assault the Furtress directly. Are you guys leaving this in the bomber? Installation? Yeah, you guys are leaving this air installation. Go back to your guys' little landing zone. Or are you bringing everything to the base? No, we're leaving the installation. We're going back out to where uh, Neil Tyson, the dreadnought, is uh, still at. All right. Everyone. And we've and for the record, we've told the uh, commissar like all of the intel that we have, so like all the AA positions and all that, so... Yeah, because you understood my side, and they, they tell you they have all that intel as well. Okay, got it. Do they have the intel that... Uh, did we give them the intel of that FERP choice is setting up air defense as well? They may be online soon. They know of it. There's just not much they could have done about it. Is there any intel that they have that we don't know yet? Before uh, we you leave. Have, you have everything... Everything you have is what they know. Okay. Fair enough. That, that's in relations to this Orc Fortress. They tell you some other off-the-distance off Orc encampments, but they're of no concern to your primary objective, so... All right. He, do, he does tell you that stuff. Stuff to the north. Stuff to the east. All right. Right. Or west. Or west, <coughs> sorry. East. West. I thought you said west. Uh, let's see. He tells you that there's an orc airfield. That's the useful information to know. Yeah. So. Where's the orc airfield? Okay. And he says it's it's a minor it's a minor threat. There's like it's like one crazy guy out there making making those bombers, and they fly them out of there. Him and an ogre. I guess they're married. He says he's not too sure what the deal is over there. <laughs> but that's where the aircraft are coming from. So. All I think right. that's our plan. Huh? I think that's all our plan. This sounds like we got all the intel we can get. There might be still some fog of war, but... <clears throat> Alright, let's... That's what we can do. 
let's execute on the plan. So we assault the Furptress as soon as possible. Wait, I thought we were waiting for the bombers. No. The bombers are working independently of us. They're going uh, to go after the tank column in three days. But the you're sooner... Still getting, you're still getting repaired, so... Hello, can day... you hear me now? Yes. 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 Jeez. Yeah, end of day two, your your dread will be fully repaired. Okay, so how often do orcs fly out of the airfield? Oh, he tells you uh, at least two or three aircraft are leaving that thing every day. He's not he, right. It looks like a junkyard. There's ships. There's various other vehicles. He's just like taking every human construction possible, and they're just offloading a big on the ocean outside his little shack. Gotcha, gotcha. I only needed another time. Uh, I demand a cipher for their stupid fucking encryption. <laughs> and he looks at you, and he get, he hands you the data slate with the, all the encryptions. Thank you. Oh. Put my gun back in its holster. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Uh, and he tells he tells you that I'll be leading the the personal charge of this this air wing from my aircraft. And he alludes he's going to send every single last one of his aircraft that or that's flyable in this next wave to go go die on the field of battle. Emperor's uh, speed. Uh, the emperor protects. Not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he protect, he attack. The emperor giveth and he taketh away. Yep. <laughs> so as you guys head back, uh go ahead do an awareness check. I'm assuming you left still nighttime, you're flying back. Mm-hmm. Did you do a little meeting? Modifiers? Plus modifier. Oh, plus twenty. Oh boy! Yep. Here right. I go, rolling a forty again. So, dude, um. you see, you see <laughs> okay. that air battle still raging as well, and in the distance, far, far to the east. Uh, let's see. To ninety-four. Rip. Yeah, Don't far to, yeah, far to the east, you see uh, what looks to be like artillery explosion still, and flashes of artillery. That looks wow. like a huge battle is raging over there still. To the east? Yeah. Is it a battle oh, or is it a curb stomping? You have no idea. Alright. Well, unless to they're the point street. blanking their own artillery, I don't <laughs> think they're uh... You just see, you see giant flashes, explosions in the distance. You can tell definitely something is getting bombarded to smithereens. Somebody's playing Counter-Strike. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that air battle has since moved. It's over this direction now. And you, as you guys are coming back, you see waves of aircraft, fighter, orc bombers alike, falling out of the sky and balls of flame. Damn. I want to roll see who survives in the morning, so... I think we got everything besides one thing. Do we attack when the Dreadnought is ready, or attack when the Bombers are ready? Surely when the Dreadnought's ready. Yeah, because yeah. then we'll be going in faster. Maybe. We should start moving when the Dreadnought's ready. At yeah. the very least. Where's the capital? And then have the Whirlwind batteries on the eastern side. Stick the Thunder Hulk, Hawks. So we're going this way, then? No, we're going to Defurptress. No, I said small elite team. Oh. Defurptress. We don't need everybody to be at Furptress. We just need a team. So you're going to send Dan's, Dan's forces to go deal with it, then? Oh, yeah, true. We can do that. Sure, if, if they're confident. Dan? His assault marine? Yeah. 
Yeah, he would be going to Defurptress All with right his then. detachment. So we don't even need to worry about the logistics of going to Defurptress and then the Fortress Capital. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll run that battle in the background, Gene. I'll right. do it right. Do that. So, so are we going to have the Whirlwind go for the spaceport, or are we going to ignore it and go straight for the capital? So let it. I think it would be a good idea to let it focus the spaceport until it's uh can't can't support the uh the war barge. <clears throat> okay. Uh the dance character asks when you wanna when do you wish for him to go out and attack the fortress? Karnoff? Immediately. Yeah, Karnoff. That's it. Um Krenloff now? Karnoff. Karnoff. As soon as possible. Okay, so he takes off. Wait. Not as soon as possible. What? Wait until the Dreadnought is ready. We don't need the Dreadnought He doesn't there. hear that part. He just takes off his detachment and goes and attacks uh, the Fortress. It doesn't matter. We're not taking the Dreadnought to Defurptress. It no. does matter if they fix it before the Dreadnought's ready. They could have taken the Thunderhawks, so they might be attacking <clears throat> before the Dreadnought's ready, and we're not ready to attack the capital. Yeah. Karnoth doesn't leave yet. Yeah, I'm gonna stay behind. For the moment. Uh, so you're gonna have to convince him now. <laughs> he, he's Thanks, rather, <laughs> rather convinced to attack now. What was that fellowship? I believe so. Yeah, that was easy. Space, look, Space Marine. We need to coordinate the strikes properly. All right. Just going off and shooting things up won't help. We need to do it at the right time. He agrees. You <laughs> <laughs> rolled a zero. It's still a success. It's still a success. Yep. <laughs> and it's and still he, better than his. <laughs> yeah, he pats you on the shoulder. Thank you, Thunk. You always were the smart one. Indeed. Oh, I don't want you to ever say that. I start warming ear to ear. <laughs> Only the spot. Only the Inquisitor says that. <laughs> uh, well, as morning comes, <laughs> so as, oh, as, 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 as the morning comes, I have to do an awareness check. My fire. Uh, plus twenty. <laughs> Only the Inquisitor says that. God. <laughs> he's, the he's implications. Like yeah, because he's, he's so... He's like, he likes Thunk. He's so patronizing. He just loves Thunk. He's such a <laughs> horrible person otherwise, but his one good deed is that he's nice to Thunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you guys hear uh, uh, airplanes, in the, airplanes in the sky and other aircraft flying overhead? Imperial? As far as you can tell, yes. There seems to be a handful of aircraft that looks like they've been beaten to shit. But they're... Looks like they're going on a return flight home. So where, where are these and where are they headed? You see him fly this direction. Uh, I don't see any indication we're, we're, on the map. Oh, sorry. Oops. Okay, they're going that way. Yeah. yeah. What you see? So, so the first like circle, human the first fighters, right? Not the orc ones. Yeah, they're all imperial. You, you all see right. that? Yeah, definitely the first circle is. Definitely their entry exit points of combat. Yeah. <clears throat> they're probably avoiding some other orc camp or something nearby. Or they're trying to give the orc airfield pathway a wide berth. Or you never want to fly directly to your, uh, your destination because it's yeah. easy to trace. Yeah, true. So they're returning. Uh, I'm guessing all the orc bombers got shot down then? 
Or do we not know that? You wouldn't know. We can assume. Okay. Yes. Based on the <laughs> fighters being there all night, surviving the night. This is this is the morning time, so they've been fighting a good eight hour battle at least. Man, that's a huge fuel tank. That's a lot of fuel. Yeah, these are these are forty K vessels, so yeah. Yep. They're these not... shitty civilian nuclear planes, god damn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Primitive tech. But anyways. Uh Sia, we're getting a long range encryption call. And he's talking to you, Moth. I pull out the cipher sheet and sigh heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Commodore says uh, our air wing has uh, availed in their combat and returning home. We will be making post haste to assault that armored division. Alright. Cool. But he does, does note to you guys there are still enemy aircraft in the sky, so be aware. All right. We can still use the Thunderhawk to have a Dan, Dan seem to deal with the verb trace as well as Warwin. Yep. Just so you guys are aware, I'll have to be leaving in about 30, 40 minutes. Okay. Practice, so. Um. We should allow the Warwin tanks to keep the turrets. I mean, we never deployed the turrets. Yeah. I remember. yeah. Let, let them have the turrets so they can have defensive capabilities. Because they're practically on their own. Well, where where are the whirlwinds right now? With they're us? in the transport. Yeah, oh. they're in the transport just chilling. Okay. Yeah. One There's one in. One can fit in one transport, so there's one in each transport, plus your guys' goods, plus the dreadnought transport that holds <laughs> both you guys. So. There is something else about those turrets. Uh, the turrets aren't stationary. Once we put them down, we can't pick them back up. That's correct. Uh, the whirlwinds are mobile artillery. They're tanks. Yep. They can just leave. They don't need defenses. Can we put the turrets on the Thunderhawk on top of it? I was thinking we we uh, once we assault the fortress capital, then we fly in the Thunderhawk with turrets. So, you want me to tell you the progress of, uh, probably ending here soon at night, because I rolled, he actually rolled a one on his first roll. So Dan did? It. Dan. Oh. Dan super And the guy who didn't leave yet? But he's going to super succeed, so. Oh, man. Holy super shit. Succeed. Super succeed. The dam is destroyed. Will be destroyed. Yep, and then something How bad happens. How big happened. is a nuclear explosion again? <laughs> yeah, because the uh, dam I can has see, a Dan thing. would set the would detonate that reactor if he could. Yeah. <laughs> How big is a nuke? Uh oh. Well, it's a reactor, so it's not like that. But uh, uh, to give some reference, the Chernobyl evacuation was thirty kilometers wide. Yeah, but that was some it was, was also because they were trying to get rid of uh, radiation, so I'd imagine half that would be. Ten kilometers is deadly. the uh, danger point. It was it, it was mandatory for. F I was actually researching this last night. Damn. Mainly, uh, mainly because uh, one of my family members was actually next to Chernobyl. Oh shit! So I was like, oh. Let's research this. <laughs> nice. Well, in trying to evacuate people, that was partially a mistake because the uh, the fallout is less potent against people who are indoors and sheltering in place. Okay. Anyway. Mm. Go ahead. Sorry. No, you're good. Uh, so, is Dan attacking... Simultaneously with you guys? Are you guys attacking independently of one mm, another? No, he's he's hitting the Furptress first, and then okay. once the idea is once the Furptress is down, then we can <clears throat> position the verbal winds and uh, the whirlwinds and uh, 
uh, assault the uh, fortress capital right. after bombardment. So he's able to... So this is based off the rolls. All right. His team was able to come in, destroy the fortress, no issue whatsoever. Uh, and as he was leaving, his air aircraft got intercepted and uh, sequentially shot. So, and he's going to be making a crash landing pretty close to your guys' position, but you guys are down one Thunderhawk. All right. And that's with a critical success. Yeah, well, there's, I always do three three rolls. Got it. So critical success, failure, and then success. Um, so the effective so evacuation... Critically succeeded taking out the fortress, failed getting back, succeeded surviving getting back. That's correct. Uh, for Chernobyl, by the way, uh, 10 kilometers is pretty much effective evacuation. The... Uh, 30 kilometers, this is all in radius. It's just uh, precaution. <clears throat> yeah, but this is a fusion reactor, not a graphite rod reactor. Or whatever it is. It's also a dam instead of a... Well, there's, a nuclear, well, there's a nuclear there's a power, power plant time. bolted onto it. Yeah. yeah well, I'd imagine bolted on inside the dam. But it's orcs, who knows, it could be off to the side Just out front They're just pouring the water from the dam On top of it to cool it <laughs> Probably with buckets <laughs> Oh, that would be so dumb Jesus but yeah, Let me do some rolls here Because the dam is now completely destroyed Alright so Does it affect the spaceport? Well, he did say you, you have can no do way some of, rolls you have, you have no way of knowing from here I've done... Do one more? Yep, okay. So, you have to use your scat drones to figure out what happened. What the syrup is. But, the the fortress is destroyed. Nice. Alright. So now to the capital, then. And, we uh, still have eyes on that tank column? You do. It's moved. And then Cardas location is right there. Here, so where's the tank column? Red. Where's Cardas? Ah. So Cardas green little circle. Let's pick up Cardas and move. Also, we'll we're be gonna heading straight for the tank formation though. We're gonna relay the coordinates of the tank column to the bombers again. Yes. So they don't lose their target. Okay. And Moth, you get another encryption call. They asked, do you wish us to assault now? They got a third of the Air Force operational now. Ooh. It's only been one of three days, they said. Yep. So eight, air, eight bombers. Yep. 8,000 kilograms. That's, I don't think that's enough for our tank column. Yeah, it's not enough. Then no. Unless every single bomb is a direct hit and there's exactly uh, 64 Eight. tanks. Uh, are you asking specifics? No. I'm just okay. spitballing you here. You mean 28. There's four bombs each plane. Yeah, 28. No, I'm talking about like well, specifics 30, for the enemy, sorry. enemy enemy tanks because you guys didn't go in, in detail of what's there. You just know that it's there. Yeah, we're just. I remember you saying something about over a hundred tanks. That's the one to the north. This one is relatively similar size. Okay, so roughly a hundred tanks. Uh, no, we want to hold off. We want to wait until all the bombers are ready. I would think. more bombers means more saturation which means more destruction and less chance of failure we can send a detachment to pick up Karnath 
Yeah, so this is midday. Um, let's see if you're, because you, I'm sure your surveillance drones are still watching this thing, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. With rotation, so when the battery slowly come back to base and recharge. Yeah, so they're heading in, seems to be this direction. All right, they're going for the crash plane then. We should probably send a detachment to Carl oh, yeah. to pick it up. Yeah. Pick him up and avoid that tank column. And I'm assuming you would have taken any vehicle out of sight, out out of Carnos, uh attachment, and left at the primary base, right? Uh, real quick, you have yes. One with yeah. the red knots. You would have only had one a... with one with the whirlwind and another one with the whirlwind. AFK for a couple minutes. Yeah, the the Thunderhawk had nothing in it when I was transporting them to Furbtris. Okay. So you will have to trans. Which one was it? One of the whirlwind ones. You took the supplies out of number three. Or was it the dreadnought one? Personally, I want to say it was the dreadnought one because the dreadnought can walk, but okay, the whirlwinds yeah. can also drive quickly too. So they they can. It just uh, you need to try. Yeah, if it's a whirlwind one, you have the. Oh, we have st we still have three. Oh, we have two left then. Mm -hmm. yeah, I totally three. forgot we have an extra one. You have three three dropships, and you lost one just now. Mm. You have two whirlwinds and two dreadnoughts. We would have had to have a dreadnought walk anyway, so let's have him have the dreadnought one. So both whirlwinds are loaded in the in the transports. Got it. Yep. Besides, the air support drones, right? We uh, utilize them as much as we can, anyways. That was with the dreadnought. Yeah, Dan's character did pretty damn good. Uh, so, are you using your drones to assess the damage to the bases? Uh, yep. Okay. Good. Do your rolls. What were those again? Let me look it up. Rolls for what? Oh, I, I, no, that was me that does that. Give me one second. I got it. Wait a minute. I I didn't control the drones. Yeah, you did. Okay, four. So, the one drone completely malfunctions as you as it's taking off and useless. You lost one immediately, and then the others report back. They're at the fortress capital. A couple of them. Fortress the or fortress? Fortress. We're not going for the capital. We're assessing the damage to the dam. And the spaceport. Oh, completely gone. And you just okay. see and then also the spaceport. We're sending stuff over there to check that. Yeah, I lost the drone. Lost two drones, actually. Yeah, two drones. Boom, boom. And they report that chicken got them. Both of them. How many drones do we have left? So you lost three drones. How many did you send out? Out of your 20? Because I did one, two... We had 20 three, in reserve, four, but we still five, had more besides that. I, I dispatched six, and three got shut down. If I remember right, we had 40 total, and we're saving 20 specifically for the whirlwinds. We dedicated 10. Okay, so... So you had... Okay, yeah, let me do four more rolls, then. I don't remember how many we had originally. <laughs> 40. 40 or 50. Okay. Two more get shot down by the... Are you sending all 10 at the spaceport? No. No. Okay. Probably five. Okay. So three get shot down by a chicken. Uh, they report back. The other ones that do survive, the two that... Wait, wait. Why are we sending it to the spaceport? I don't know. This was something I've been told. Somebody said check the spaceport, right? No. Okay, then we don't do that. Okay. The fortress is completely destroyed. You see just a giant torrent of water. Fortress. Yeah, the fortress. You see that the road that connected both sides of are just destroyed. You see a tank column. It actually shows. Let me get that on another layer.
You reveal that token, that one right there. Alright, I am back. So, as your drones are coming in, they spot this tank column here. There's two tank columns now? It is, it's reporting, there have been two tank columns. One that passed to the north, one that was roaming the south. Okay. So, and I made sure to keep everything on the on the square. I actually put squares in the GM levels of all orc formations. So, and then I moved them every day, moved them boop, 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 where the orcs would go. Based on a random roll or a decision. Which uh, day are we on now, by the way? <clears throat> You're on day, day two. All right. So, your drones, the, the fortress was destroyed. Arnold destroyed it. He got shot down uh, sub subsequently because of that. Right. Uh, your drones are now reporting back intel because they're out scouting. They picked up one other tank column. The one that was to the north is now to the south, just southeast of the anti-air fortress. And then one of the other drones in the immediate area around the, the fortress. And we reveal another position. Boop. Because they would have spotted this too. Artillery column. Up the road. Boop. All right. That may complicate things. You know, because these are... Um... <laughs> oh, well, at on. least we know the capital doesn't have 40 or 60 km artillery. Well, our original plan of having Warwind is now next, would be next to the artillery. As soon as they found out. Artillery versus artillery. Let's go. <laughs> Well, at least our our artillery is mobile, and theirs less mobile. Yeah, well, from the drones, the vans, when you see it, it is it's giant wagons with giant giant guns on the back of them. That's all they are. It looks a bit like them from the 18th century. You see giant. You see ogres loading in big shells into them. Or one ogres. Uh, one for each gun, and let me see how many guns are in this. See. I'm, gonna think, I'm thinking 16 guns. There's there's 19 guns in this this one. I just rolled it. So 19 guns in total. And so there's 19 ogres loading big shells. And they're still blasting too, by the way. So, day two, midday, they're still bombarding something in the distance. So, that's your guys' intel with those initial drones. You guys lost three. Let me count them up. Yeah, three. No, wait. One, two, three, four, five. There we you lost, go. lost seven out of the ten. We only have ten left, then. Or 13 left. And they're shot down by just orcs <clears> on the ground <throat> blasting at them. And uh, there is some enemy aircraft uh, aircraft patrolling the skies. Well, scouts are becoming useless at this point. Yeah. We don't and have enough. Last 13 we barely have. for targeting. Yeah. Alright. Here's what I think we should do. Um... I say we do a last-ditch effort. Uh, we move... It's not even close to being last-ditch, but okay. I thought their bomber wing keeps getting shot down. Or our bomber what? wing. What? No. What? Oh, is that not no, what... You were gone. Said? Our drones. Those were drones. Oh, oh okay. All right. The scout Never drones, mind. my guy. Never mind. Yeah, so they verified the fortress was shot down. They uncovered... Uh, two enemy formations, artillery formation, and a tank formation near the fortress. 
Because it was, it was pretty close enough, and they probably they could see this with the eyesight. And I imagine the drones would go and investigate. The drone, uh, however, that did investigate the tank formation was able to fly directly over the tank formation, unabated. Oh, okay. How many tanks are there? In the you're, asking, you're asking detail? Mm hmm. Okay, so the drones, let's see how many drones you have left. You have three left that you can dedicate them to that cause. They're going to get shot at to get close to count numbers. There's roughly 100. We know we know the column. I just want to know how much there are, an yeah. estimation, when the drones saw. Oh, by your estimation, a few hundred tanks. A few hundred, okay. Yeah, a few hundred. It looks like a big formation. It looks like <clears throat> even bigger than when it when they first crossed the river. That's an entire battalion of them. Holy shit. Where one can easily deal with them. I don't think they can handle the... we got to take care of these tank columns. I don't think they are, the bombers can... Well, may, bombers might be able to handle one, but not... We can send the bombers tanks. after the artillery and then send our artillery after their tanks. We need to take care of the encampment. Air defense encampment. The drones are able to fly on a, like unopposed in the sky around it. It was mainly fighters shooting the, down the drones. Wow. Uh -huh. That camp is destroyed then. Or inactive. Or the, uh... The anti-aircraft uh, ground defenses are down since we cut their power. Maybe towards the capital, but I, should, I would not be expecting the camp to go back down in power. Yeah, that, as far as I know, that camp didn't have any. Oh. Well. Uh... They also artillery bombed the fuck out of it, remember? Out of the camp? Yeah, after we left. Oh. No, 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 no. This camp. This yeah. camp. You don't remember that? We took the camp, we left, they artillery bombed the shit out of it, then they moved back in and rebuilt part of it. And by oh. rebuilt, he, he did mean they had guns on planks with people shooting at the drones. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so they've retreated from the camp, and the camp is... Gone. All right. Well, this is a good opportunity to get the whirlwind to destroy these uh, tank columns. We can have the drones check out the camp. The last three one. We did say they were flying no, around. We did not say that. We did not say that. Boko said he was. They were flying through it unobstructed. Yeah, around the tank formation. One of them saw it, flew over the tank formation to get an assessment. That's how you saw these two formations. They flew over directly over both each one. So. No anti-air of the two. Send All right. that one drone to the camp. See what it can see. Okay. And it reports back that what you guys saw the first day, rows and rows of anti-artillery batteries aimed in all directions. But you just see orcs smacking each other upside the head and barking something at one another. And then pointing at a what appears to be something. A rock. You're not sure what it is. <laughs> you just, can, is there ammo... Right. Do they have an ammo stock? No, that was their oh. power rock. Their power rock is out <laughs> because the dam is gone. Wait, I have an idea with this drone. Is there an ammo stockpile? Uh, the drone doesn't see anyone. See it's also a small battery-powered, like little scout thing. It's not. They, it sees it sees ammunition to these to these anti-aircraft, but it's spread out in various. It's, there's nothing stockpiled. So it's not one right. big central ammo dump. In other words, that's correct. All right. So yeah. the question is, if they're dispersed like that, if we decide to explode one of the ammo, will it uh, cascade into an explosion? Uh, if, it to... if it's dispersed like that, that camp is destroyed. So do... Let's see what would be for that. Tactics? Tactics, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to remember which one it was. Tactics. Plus 10. Alright, I'll roll for that. Let me do it. Uh, you assess that if you were to strike it with artillery, your guys' artillery, it's possible 
they could set, cause a chain reaction among these vehicles. Firestorm, because it looks like there's a lot of ramshack wood structures. So. What about, what, about, what about the drone that has ammunition? Shoot the ammo. Drone, drone doesn't have ammunition. Yes, yeah, yes, they do. Yes. Uh, no, the you you assist the drone would do nothing. Wait, Thank what? You. The drones have ammunition since yes. when? They have. They're armed with auto cannons. Yeah, yeah, they've Are had they? it this whole time. Uh, they just haven't been using it. Boko uh, told us that they were literally just camera drones. They were like little shitty ones we have current modern day kind of shit drones. All right, let's. If we could look back at the loadout, a squadron of automated aerial drones armed with auto cannons and equipped with yeah. recon optics. To provide continuous air support and surveillance. Yep. I feel like I was lied to. <laughs> Anyways. You lied to We could have yourself. used these drones in the air battle. We wrote it all down. That's why I was like, we'll write it all down when that way it's not, everything's consistent. Um, uh, the Emperor giveth, the Emperor taketh away, and sometimes the Emperor hides the fun shit. Yeah. <laughs> right. We should have used these drones for the air battle <laughs> and, and air, air escort. Yeah, but uh, would it really yeah. have mattered? Would it have made a difference? Uh, I think so. Come on, they're, the orcs are using uh, civilian planes, too. Yep. Uh, so, and also, uh, orc-made aircraft, mostly. Uh, though you do assess if your drone has an opportunity to kill, possibly this looks like an officer of some sort. Possibly the artillery officer. Do you have Xenos lore? I have plenty, yes. Does... Okay. We have Xenos. Well, I have Xenos yeah. forbidden. Yeah. You summon you something for orcs. On a fire. Plus ten. And then I have to go after this. Can I also roll? Yep. You assess that that is the artillery officer of that particular encampment, a chieftain, <laughs> if you will. Killing him would neutralize his entire camp. Just like did, the former camp. Did you <laughs> succeed Thunk. with a zero? <laughs> a one. Zero one. Thunk knows the same thing. Kill biggest man there, right? No, that's Wait, a crit look, success. Look, yeah, I really it was a crit success. The f baseline is zero, so his plus ten <laughs> barely passed with the net man. <laughs> Oh my god. I imagine Thunk just like takes the joystick for the drone and pulls the trigger on him. <laughs> yeah, like, got him. Yeah, do it, Thunk. Yeah. Done. Yep. So it's like the 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 orc chieftain collapses in a pile of goo and, and guts. And everyone at that uh encampment runs for their lives. <laughs> the army of Gretchen's all run in all directions, scattering. Uh, that's incredible. Oh, man. Yeah, the camp then, is now destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> so, the or, see, so the orcs, they're just like us humans. Yeah, and then you see, Gretchen's, you see Gretchen's taking torches and tossing it at vehicles and some setting explosions. It's like <laughs> this is a fail safe to make sure it doesn't fall in enemy hands. <laughs> <laughs> One, <laughs> One drone did this. <laughs> One drone did fuck. <laughs> Thunk knows where the boom goes. <laughs> All right, I think, I think the last part is get Karnoth, get a detachment, get yep. Karnoth. We could do that next session for sure when Karnoth's here. I think it's, everyone should get fifteen hundred. Showed up. All right. Or oh, poor Karnoth. No, he'll get, he'll get fifteen hundred for doing that epicness. Well, that was a good session. Didn't get the combat yet. I'm wanting to get everyone together before we do combat. So, well, this is a lot of strategic too. Yes. It's kind of have to, kind of have to happen. I thought you guys enjoy the change of pace, like the strategic gameplay followed with tactical. Yeah, it's nice to have a mix. Mm -hmm. Despite the people that keep trying to get us to assault immediately. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. Are you glad we game. didn't charge yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Well, the, even Tess's dreadnought wasn't even ready. Yeah. <laughs> so the person that I want goes straight to the capital was the one that's being repaired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. 
Why am I still getting repaired? Let's go. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys later. I gotta get take a shower and go do go do nerdy medieval stuff. Alright. Thank you, Boko. Right, see you all next week.